It's been wow, this was really fascinating. I, I'm amazed stuff. I hadn't we haven't done this before. Uh, our show's been on for quite some time. Yeah. And uh, you demand. Oh, by the way, I don't know if anybody knows. When I get a call from CNN right. about something in the solar system, I call Rick. I say, Rick, this is what I know. Is it is it enough? What do you know? What can I bring to this conversation? Super cool. So he's my go-to planet man. I love it. Because I was a galaxy guy. Speed dial. Yeah, speed <laughs> dial. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a galaxy guy, right. you know, large-scale yeah. universe yeah. guy, and planets was like a whole other, that's a different species of astrophysics. Yeah, well, you know what makes them different? They get to go there. Nice. Right? I, we don't, vi you know, we're not going to a black hole or right. the center of a galaxy or anything. Right. They get to, oh, I wonder what that object is. Send a probe. It's like, so that's, that's, that's damn near experimental science. Nice. Yeah. And as a planetary scientist, you really put yourself on the line because you can have a hypothesis, an idea, and you send a probe there and you find out you were wrong. Um, but that's pretty exciting when you're wrong, actually, because <laughs> you have to relearn. You've, you've gained really great insight. For the things that uh, that don't prove to be uh, what you might have expected, so, but I love the challenge of uh, being able to study things that you can go there and and uh, find out if you're right or wrong. For today's cosmic perspective, it's clear that among other interesting points of knowledge, wisdom, and insight, we've also learned that as a scientist, discovering how the universe isn't can be just as valuable to the researcher as discovering how the universe 